The only application I'm going to ask you to do in this section is question number 95. 96 is very much like 95, so that's the one we're going to look at here. In question number 96, cost of bottled water, the text reads, a water bottling company charges $7 per month for their water dispenser and $1.10 for each gallon of water delivered. Notice that this is a monthly charge and that the entire question is going to be based on a one-month bill. The $7 charge occurs every month regardless of how much water is delivered. The $1.10 is charged for each gallon. One household may have the dispenser and 10 gallons delivered, while another household may choose to have 20 gallons delivered, but they're still charged for the dispenser. The $7 is what we call a fixed cost. You don't necessarily need to know that vocabulary, but the concept is important because what's happening here is that the $7 is charged regardless of how much water is delivered. Let's continue reading. If you have G gallons of water delivered in a month, then the expression 7 plus 1.1 G gives the amount of your bill for that month. This 7 plus 1.1 G represents the $7 fixed cost for the water dispenser and the $1.10 times the number of gallons. $1.10 for each gallon. $1.10 per gallon. To reduce the amount of space this takes up, instead of writing 7.00, we can just write 7. And instead of writing 1.10, we can write just 1.1. What we've done here is convert this situation into a mathematical expression. This is the expression you see here, and it's given in the problem. You don't need to come up with it. We are asked to find the monthly bill for each of the following deliveries. So we have three questions to answer. What's the bill for a family that has 10 gallons of water delivered? What's the monthly bill for a family who has 20 gallons delivered? And what about for a family who has 30 gallons delivered? Well, in each case, we have the expression $7 for the water dispenser plus $1.10 per gallon. So we can rewrite the expression $7 for the water dispenser plus $1.10 per gallon where the number of gallons is going to vary according to the individual situation. For this particular family, it's 10 gallons. Replacing G with 10 gives me 7 plus 1.1 times 10. I have a multiplication and then an addition. So I'm going to rewrite this as 7 plus, so I don't forget to do my addition, 1.1 times 10 is 11. 7 plus 11 is 18. So this family will be charged $18 for the month. The second family still gets the water dispenser delivered and their charges are still $1.10 per gallon. But the number of gallons they have delivered is 20. So this problem becomes 7 plus 1.1 times 20 is 22. 7 plus 22 is 29. This family's bill will be $29 for the month. And finally, a family getting 30 gallons of water delivered will have to pay the $7 fee for the dispenser plus $1.10 for each of 30 gallons. 30 times 1.1 is 33. 7 plus 33 is 40. This family's bill will be $40 for the month. 
If you take nothing else away from this example, I hope it is that word problems don't need to be as scary as a lot of people think they are. Yes, there's sometimes a bit of reading. Even highly educated mathematicians will read, reread, and reread again a scenario before actually working out what the mathematics is that they need to use to do the word problem. Reading math is not like reading anything else. Be patient with yourself. And if you have any questions, post them in the forum or write me a message or both.